last bit of news. The James Krause. We've been talking about the situation for a while, and um, it continues to get worse. Uh, James Krause now, since we, uh, might have been actually a week or two since we talked about it, but uh, last week, I think it was like a day or two after we recorded, UFC sent out a thing to all their fighters stating that if they were affiliated with James Krause in any capacity, whether that be, you know, training under him or, you know, having some sort of managerial role, they will not be allowed to compete in the UFC. Along with that, they also released Derek Minner, who was the fighter that was involved in going down a minute in and how this whole thing kind of came to be on a random UFC fight night about a month ago. Along with that, Josh Thompson also chimed in, revealed that Krause has had all of his devices taken, his phone, his uh, cell phone, excuse me, laptops, computers, all relating to a potential FBI case, or not necessarily FBI, but a potential legal case against him. So, Angel, um, it sounds like the James Krause might be going away for a while. So, I mean, jokes aside, this is a um, just a it's just such a disappointing situation. Just insanely disappointing. But what do you think about it, and what do you think about all the the updates? It's 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 obviously very serious. You know, we're, we're talking about the literal fucking FBI, the federal federal Bureau of Investigation. And look, you know those motherfuckers didn't just come in, knock on his door. I mean, they came in with a fucking search warrant, told him, "Hey, open the fuck up." While his family was there, his kids, his wife, friends, maybe, and they raided his fucking house and looked through his shit like he, you know, like he was an old one. Mm-hmm. You know. Um, so obviously that's all, you know, scary and shit, right? But look, innocent until, until proven guilty, right? Mm-hmm. We, we need all the details are coming out, but as it's looking right now, it's looking very rough. It's looking like James Krause has completely and utterly thrown a lot of his success away, which is very sad because he's a guy that we praised a lot on this show. You know, mm-hmm. we praise him a lot. And I, and I think, uh, and you know, I told this to Josh. I, I don't think that James Krause is a bad person. I think James Krause has just made a very, very bad mistake. Mm-hmm. Which is which people who are good can sometimes do. And that's that's being human. You know, being human is, is fucking up, making mistakes, but also learning from them. And if this is all true and he did, you know, match fix or do something or leak something or whatever it may be, and he really fucked up. He really fucked up, and there's nothing you can do about it now because, you know, it's it isn't is it isn't you versus the UFC, and getting in trouble and maybe getting fined or whatever. Now it's you being in trouble with the actual fucking government, which is the worst possible scenario that anybody could ever be in their lives. Hmm. Yeah, and you know, I think you said it pretty well there. I mean, he. I don't know James Krause personally. I don't. And I've made a couple jokes about the situation, but um, just because it's so disappointing. And I don't think he's a bad person, but look, when there's smoke, there's fire. And there's so much smoke around this thing that, like, it just – it it looks really fucking bad, man. It really, really does. For him to have this – just an incredible – like, he made it out. He Like, he literally made it out. He made it out of fighting in this situation – most fighters find themselves in in broke and looking up at the lights. That's how their career ends. James Krause made it out. Not only made it out, but made it out perfect. He was, he was a coach. In fact, one of the greatest coaches in the game. If if he did not have this ongoing scandal, he'd be in the fight of the year conversation. Not fight of the year, excuse me, coach of the year conversation. Brandon Moreno's having success. He's had a lot of guys who just come up and just done some incredible things, especially this year. You know what I mean? And just to throw it away, it's just it's it's insanely depressing. It's depressing, and like like you said, like we don't know for one hundred percent sure, like what exactly happened. However, god damn, man, I mean, just just to potentially throw it away over just a random fucking U- like USC prelim fight for one, incredibly stupid because it was extremely noticeable. Like, people, before there was even, like, a whole lot of traction. Like, people were, like, random betting Twitter accounts. Like, oh, shit. Like, the odds just randomly flipped on this super random fight. And, oh, wow. He entered the fight injured and went immediately down with an injury. And, oh, wow. His coach runs a gambling podcast in Discord. Like, just, what a what a waste. 
honestly. Mm-hmm. But that's all I got to say about it, man. I mean, do you got any of the quotes of thoughts on this one? No, like we we talked about it, you know, before and kind of leading up to it, and there was a lot of just suspicious shit, right? And I mean, as soon as the news came out, the Discord went down, his some of his social media got turned off, and uh, and look, at the end of the day, who knows, right? We don't know any exact details yet. They probably 100% will be coming out. We will have specifics that we will mention on this show. And we will report on you guys and give your thoughts and give our thoughts about because that's why we're here. And we've been, I think, very honest, giving a good perspective, you know, about everything and being clear and try to not, uh, at least at least I make an effort to not sway in one direction or believe a certain narrative yet. But uh, like, like we're saying, it's not looking good. And like I said, the literal fucking FBI is in this now. The Federal Bureau of Investigation is in this shit. So, yeah, I mean, that like I'm saying, that's the worst possible case. 